Why would you even want to use our alternative to Cloudflare CDN? It's free and one of the best. Well, here we'll go through why you would want to do that and how to do the switch. Cloudflare have been in the crosshair recently and for a good reason. From shady sales tactics such as trying to blackmail people into buying an enterprise plan to firing people when under interesting circumstances and many other things. There's a really good reason why this is happening. Cloudflare have a generous free tier plan, but as they say, if you are not paying for the product, you are the product. Cloudflare used VC money to do extreme growth and they took over the market. Their services are good, but now the chicken is coming home to roost. They are now a public company and they are not profitable and they will have to start earning money very soon. And especially now as the economy is slowing down, they're getting a little bit desperate. And that means squeezing the juice out of us and not in a good way. You can use Bunny CDN instead of Cloudflare CDN and uh, Bunny CDN even have a lot of uh, pre-processing or post-processing of your assets as well. These are the four reasons why I use Bunny CDN. Number one, their interface is beautiful and simple, but yet powerful. Number two, their CDNs are everywhere in the world. Number three, pricing is good. You have to pay a little bit but you also get what you pay for. Number four, and this is probably the most important one, is that you buy credits instead of having a subscription. And this means that if something goes wrong, if you set up something wrong, you won't suddenly have a 120K bill for you to pay. You will just simply have a service that stopped working. You will get a lot of emails before that happens, but this is very nice in today's climate. And as I already mentioned, they have a ton of extra, but very easy to use pre-processing and post-processing of your assets. And you can even stream your videos. Let's set up Bunny CDN. It only takes a minute. I have toolbun.com, which I would like to set up CDN in front. So I go to my DNS provider. I make a new A address a record with zero no cache that goes to our IP. This goes with outside the, the CDN. I set up a new pull zone on Bondi CDN. And then afterwards I set up my custom host name. And then afterwards I get my C name. Now, because I'm doing it on my root domain, you can't have C name on a root domain. So I'm gonna use alias and uh, I'm gonna just put it like this, boom. After this, I edit my caddy file to have a no cache here, zero no cache. As you can see, I keep the existing one so that existing uh, DNS uh, that have not been programmed will not res result in anything uh, problematic there. This is just one way to set up Bunny CDN. You can also use Bunny CDN as S3 storage and it will not even hit your server. You can also set up it on, uh, for example, cdn.toolbun.com and just only make sure that you do the most important caching. Now I like to put it just on the front, but when you do that, you have to remember to make sure that the cookie sessions is properly set so that it's not caching things with cookies. There is an affiliate link in the description below, but unfortunately, Bunny CDN do not support splitting the $20 uh, credits reward. And uh, I reached out to Jesus uh, from uh, the, the support and he said uh, this is not possible yet. So unfortunately, you don't really get anything from this year. So if you want to use it, fine. If not, that's fine as well. Now, I would say that when you use this affiliate link, I get $20 in uh, credits, not in money. So I get credits that I can use on the platform. So I'm not really trying to earn money here. I'm just glad with the platform and I think that you will be as well. Now, there's three reasons why you would still continue to use Cloudflare. The number one is that they have a really good history with protecting civil rights and freedom of speech. So if you're doing anything with that, it might make sense to continue using Cloudflare because even like um, sketchy things are not getting taken down. So if you have some political speech, you might want to put it in front of Cloudflare because that will help there. It might also be that you're a huge company and 10 to $50,000 a month is not that much for you. And in this case, it might be okay just to continue using it because you can use the resources, uh, the, the human resources to set this up other places. And number three, you are using some of the services that have vendor locked you in and you're okay with that because they're just providing such a good service for you. Now tell me, what will you do about these Cloudflare issues here? Will you change? Have you already changed? And uh, do you like Bonnie CDN and some of the other competitors?